Welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking um, blockchain banking now. If you're one of those Nigerians who are the way you get crypto, you hear NFT, you hear blockchain, you just tune out. Try and stay with us because this is very important. Coach Guaron is here with me, who's the co founder and CEO of Zend Finance. Thanks for being here today. Uh, thanks, Ibuka. Very quickly, for someone who never who doesn't get these things, blockchain banking, what's that? Yeah, okay. So I'll put it this way. Um, first, let's explain traditional banking, right? So traditional banking is where someone tries to, um, let's say, deposit money in the bank and then the bank safeguards your money. But at the back end, what the bank does is they take that money, they finance a business, right, that probably needs capital, and then they get return. The business pays back with some, you know, interest. And then maybe they give the person who has deposited funds some little amount of money as, you know, small amounts of interest, and then the bank keeps the rest. That's how the bank makes money. Mm -hmm. Now, um, and then with all that happening, there is no transparency in the regular traditional banking system. But when you now talk about blockchain banking, it's like the same kind of banking system, but built on the blockchain network. So what the blockchain is, because I need to explain that to make it make sense. Yeah. So what the blockchain is simply is just um, records stored on multiple computers simultaneously, and they are all transparent. They can be seen by anybody. All the records, all the information on the records are open. Say, for example, here we have, you have a 20 leaves notebook and I have the same notebook. So what the blockchain does is, if I write something on that notebook, you have to write the same thing on the notebook. Every other person in this studio has to write the same thing on the notebook. So it creates duplicates of that information. Okay. And what it does is, it's very, it's impossible for one person to change that information without changing it every other place. Okay. So it creates some form of security, immutability, and transparency. So what we now do, we take that technology and we build banking services on top of it. Yeah. So that's basically what blockchain banking is. So let's say, for example, someone deposits money in a blockchain bank. What it does is that money, you can see where the money is going to. Now we take that money, we give it to same people that require the money to do business or who are borrowing the funds. They borrow the funds, they pay back with interest and then we pay the interest back to you but now everything is open and it's transparent so yeah. you don't have any hidden systems and then what makes it really interesting is that also anybody anywhere in the world can access it it's yeah. not broken down by maybe barriers in location or geography yeah, yeah so that's basically like in simple terms what yeah. the blockchain is and then blockchain banking yeah. so what does zen define first of all that name is interesting what is what's <laughs> behind the name and then what are you doing differently because let's be honest yeah. the tech space especially fintech is booming here yeah as much as there's a vacuum and a need for the thing people like you are doing yeah. there's a lot happening as well yeah so why is zen finance different okay so um first like the name actually came <laughs> from <laughs> the, the name came from you know send just trying to yeah. send money right yeah but zen finance what it tries to do or what it's doing at the moment is it enables people to convert their local currency which is like your nigerian naira to the a stable cryptocurrency right that is pegged to the dollar and then it enables them to earn interests high interest on those stable cryptocurrencies now what we're doing that is very different from what other fintechs are doing is that we built this service on the blockchain, and what it also does is that it gives people access to, you know, um, stable cryptocurrencies, respect to the dollar, which other fintechs don't give you access to. And this also allows anybody anywhere in the world to access these interest, um, high interest rates on stable currencies. Usually when you talk about like regular um, financial technology companies or traditional financial companies like banks or other fintechs, they also are categorized under traditional finance because they don't deal with the blockchain. So when you talk about these companies, they are usually under um, restrictions of like the government, restrictions of a country. For example, like in Nigeria, you have um, banks or your cards, your, you have a limited amount, you can spend like $20 per transaction or something for international payments. But for a blockchain-based company like Zen Finance, you don't have those limits. It gives people access to global wealth, that's the global financial market, without giving them any limits. And it also protects them as well in that global financial market. So let's just say it gives you access to global wealth as opposed to traditional financial fintechs that give you access to like limited wealth depending on the geographical area where you are. Yeah, but the crypto space is very volatile. We've seen a lot of, you know, in the last 
couple of weeks you know, without <laughs> being too specific. We've seen how yeah. crazy things yeah. have been, you know. Yeah. The, so there's the confidence issue is still there. How easy is it for you to convince the average Nigerians? As much as Nigerians are very interested in it, there's still people yeah. who are like, this thing I don't understand. So I put in this today, tomorrow you're telling me this has happened. How does Zen Finance, you know, manage, you know, those sort of situations? Is this something that you need to have? Are those conversations you need to have with yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. Th those, the thing, those questions come up a lot. Yes. Yeah. And we expect those questions. So one thing we've done is Zen Finance doesn't deal with um, unstable cryptocurrencies. So there are different types of cryptocurrencies. You have stable and unstable. So unstable is like, let's say, like Bitcoin. The regular one, people know about that. You know, the, it's volatile, right? You have the value rise and fall. But we deal with stable cryptocurrencies because, of course, we know the kind of markets we're operating in. You don't want someone, let's say... Um, a market woman or, you know, someone who is, um, let's say, a bus driver saves on your platform, let's say they save 5,000 Naira today, and you tell them tomorrow your money is worth 500 Naira. It doesn't make sense yeah. to them. So, but we use stable cryptocurrencies, and one of it, it's pegged to the U.S. dollar. So, one of it is equal to, like, one dollar. So, what it means is that when you're saving or using our platform, you're not, you're protected against volatility. You hedge your funds. That's the number one thing. That the platform does it hedges your funds against inflation or devaluation by converting it to a stable cryptocurrency and the second thing is it gives you yields up to 15 percent annually right so you earn yields on the stable cryptocurrency which is on the us dollar which makes it very good for everybody especially in the current situation of the country yeah, yeah. so before we go now i just want to say i mean if if, if i came up to you now i've yeah. never uh, invested in any of these things. I have yeah. no idea what crypto is. I have no idea what blockchains are. But I'm in, kind of interested because I've been hearing around. What do you tell someone who comes to you and says, okay, why should Zen Finance be the place I should come to? What's, I, what are you going to do for me as a crypto virgin? Okay. <laughs> if that's a word. Yeah, okay. So um, just for <coughs> any newbie, anybody coming into crypto for the first time, coming to meet like me or coming to meet anybody at Zen Finance, the first thing we just say is, or the first information we'll pass across to the person is, one, what exactly are you trying to do? Are you trying to invest, right? Or are you trying to learn about crypto as a whole? First and foremost, most people in situations like this are always, maybe they try, they're trying to grow their funds. So the first thing we tell you is, this is not a get rich quick scheme. Mm -hmm. What you simply- People seem to forget that. Yeah, people always forget that, right? This is not a get rich quick scheme. What we're doing here is we're going to convert your local currency to a stable cryptocurrency, and then you earn interests on that stable cryptocurrency. And that's usually the first step anybody that, from, as an advice, anybody should go through. Begin to con convert your local currency first to a stable cryptocurrency. When you hedge against inflation, with time, you now study other parts of the cryptocurrencies because it's vast. The technology Extremely. is vast. You can't really learn everything once, right? So, but when you convert to a stable cryptocurrency, it gives you a safe haven. It gives you a safe place to stay and understand what exactly this whole blockchain thing is, thing is about. Then when you now convert it, the next thing is, okay, maybe I can put a few, maybe 30% of my funds to any interest because you want your money to grow. You want to put your capital to use. Right, instead of it just being idle. So you put, let's say, like 30% to use, you see that, okay, it's any use of interest, no matter how small, even if it's 5%, I mean, it's something, right? Now, when you put your capital to use, the next step will now be to now do more research, learn about other parts of the cryptocurrency um, system, and then you, you're able to go yeah. from there. Yeah. How do we find you? Yeah, so you can visit um, zend.finance. That's an X. X, X, E, N, D, <laughs> dot finance. So okay. that's the website. We have, like, our mobile apps on Google Play Store and iOS App Store. Yeah, and then we're growing, like, really quickly. We support the Nigerian Naira soon to support, like, other African currencies. And yeah. the good thing is we're actually backed by Binance, which is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange, our investors, and then Google for startups. That's Google that people know. And... All the deposits on Zen Finance are insured. So, because that's something people always want to know. Yeah. Are oh, my funds actually safe with you? Yes. Most, most important. Yeah, yeah. All the funds on Zen Finance are insured, and we're insured by Tidal Finance. So, it's it's all, all the information is online. Yeah, you can get. Thank that. you very much. Zen.finance is the website. X E N D.finance. Go check it out.
and make sure your future is secure. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, thank you. Thank but like you. I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter. Please use the hashtag Grabbing Minds when you tweet at us. I'll see you next Sunday.